What they say is, um, for number 29, is they ask us, um, find u dot v, so the dot product of u dot v, where theta is the angle between u and v. So they give us the magnitude of u. They give us the magnitude of v. And then they say, so magnitude is 4 and 10. And the angle is what? OK. So they said find the dot product, right? The only thing you guys know about the dot product is that the dot product equals u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2, right? That doesn't include anything with theta, right? Nothing. However, in this section, we also went over a new formula. And I know I went over it with you guys, but we didn't, really, we didn't explain it, where, like, how we can use it. But I did show it to you. Yes? We'll talk about that in a second. So therefore, the next thing we did talk about is we knew that the angle, be or the angle between two vectors, we could find by using cosine of theta equals u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Right? You guys got those two. This is what we did last class, period. We talked about um, how to find those two. So now. So we talked about the dot product, and then I also introduced you to the angle between two vectors. And then I hinted to it. I kind of just showed you, but we didn't really get deeply into it. We talked about, notice, if I wanted to actually solve for u dot v, I could multiply by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v on both sides. Well, if you want to solve. Then those divide out to 1. And therefore, you know that u dot v, in an alternate form of the dot product, is also the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta. So, so if you look at this, you say, oh, we know this, we know that, and we can evaluate that. You said you weren't done. 4 times 10 times the cosine of 2 pi over 3, which is? Don't know, but it equals, oh, it's negative 0.5. Yeah. Well, I have that on my paper, and then yesterday you said negative 0.5. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so equals negative 20. Well, I wanted you to try. I don't want to give it up. I had the right answer, but. You right in front of me. I was right over there, and then I couldn't. I know, and then you move right in front of my path of teaching. I figured it out. Your path of teaching, your path of teaching is path of teaching. You're so mean. Anybody have any other questions on that?